Today I'm gonna be talking about uh, Mexico's history still, but this time I'm gonna be talking about the beaches of Cozumel. And well, Cozumel is part of a region uh, called the Yucatan Peninsula that is on the south of Mexico and in the uh, in the era when the Spanish came here the Yucatan Peninsula was controlled by the Mayan Empire the Mayans were also a really important civilization in Mexico's history uh, they were so important that nowadays there are still groups of Mayan indigenous people that still speak the language and still have the traditions of the original Mayans and well the Mayans were an agricultural civilization they had their Bellic groups just as the Aztecs they also had their political system they had their religious system their religion was also polytheist they also knew more than one god um, being the the principal one Quetzalcoatl because Quetzalcoatl was like the god that we know nowadays it was one god for like the father of the gods and well uh, Cozumel in Mayan comes from a word that is Cusamil Cusamil literally means land of the swallows and when the Spanish came here they knew that it was going to be difficult and important to control the peninsula because the peninsula um, as it is in contact with the ocean and the side of the ocean they came from Veracruz and all that it was important for them to control it because um, it, it was going to be an integral part of coming here with more ships and more people so actually the, the war the war between Spanish and indigenous people uh, lasted longer in the north of the country and in the south of the country uh, mostly because of the fact that they didn't really let them enter their society as Moctezuma Sokoyotzin did in Tenochtitlan they didn't were inside but yeah um, the struggle to control the peninsula from the Spanish was actually a really long struggle, a really long war because the Mayans had these uh, elite warriors called Jaguar warriors in Spanish Guerrero Jaguar that were these guys that were really good warriors and they always wore the skin of a Jaguar in in them that's why they were called jaguar warriors but yeah um but basically the jaguar is the principal symbol of the mayan culture it's it was the principal symbol of their gods so the the struggle actually would have lasted longer if it wasn't for the diseases that the spanish broke with them uh, actually, in Mexican history, the diseases that the Spanish brought from Europe in the time of the conquer, it was the, the biggest part of the conquer because without the diseases, as I said earlier, the Spanish didn't have the numbers to really win the war, to really win over the people that were here. Even though they had these swords and armor, it didn't really matter because here in Mexico they had uh, also a set of weapons they had slingshots they had uh, poisoned darts they had a special weapon that is called Masihuatl that is um, kind of a sword but it's made from stone it's literally a, a it's wood yeah it's wood in the form of a sword but it's more like a rectangular thing and in the sides it was obsidian stone uh, literally the, the the thing with this it was used like a club you just came over to the other guy and used it to cut their skin because obviously the obsidian stones were sharpened 
and it didn't matter if it broke because if it broke in the impact the stones were gonna be in the face of your opponent or wherever you hit him but um, the Mayans lost the war against the Spanish because of the smallpox epidemic that came to be all around the country and actually after the epidemic the the people from Cozumel uh, were uh, quiet people were quiet people that were whose principal economic activity was to fish they were a fishing community and it remained like that all throughout the centuries until the famous uh, explorer Jacques Cousteau uh, came here came to Cozumel and he saw the beauty of the beaches he saw the beauty of the place and he was the one who brought attention from the world to that place and because of that nowadays Cozumel is one of the most important touristic sites of Mexico because of, of its beauty, because of the things that you can see there, because of all the things that you can do there because uh, it is touristic so nowadays there are lots of hotels, there are lots of touristic activities like banana, the parachute and you can also dive you can also go and have a a, a, a look at all the places that, that, that are around as you ride a boat so yeah nowadays mo a lot of people from the United States from Europe but principally from the United States uh, go to Cozumel and to all actually to all the beaches of the Yucatan Peninsula they come here to have a vacation because it's it's cheaper for them even though I I have read that a lot of American people are kind of reluctant to come here because uh, there's a that there's a price for things for locals for Mexicans and there's another higher price for tourists but it's high by Mexico's standards but it's not really high by their standards because um, the difference is, I don't know, two or three dollars. Ah, because yeah, in the Yucatan Peninsula, the tourism is so important that all the prices are in dollars. You can go to Cancun, you can go to Cozumel, even Yucatan, Campeche, Quintana Roo. All those places are touristic places where most of the people come from other countries to see the beauty and the prices are already set in dollars so they don't have to exchange their money to pesos and yeah i think that's the most important things about Cozumel that it's touristic nowadays and that it used to be controlled by the Mayan empire and well as in all places there are still communities of Mayan people living there but it, it, they are more like smaller communities like what they do in the United States, that they have the Indian Americans in these uh, closed spaces. It's like that, because literally the Spanish came to steal their land from them. So they already, nowadays they have the, the places that they could save and nothing more. As you can imagine, that's not fair, but that's just how economy works, I guess. So yeah, there's, we're going to see more about another historical stuff in another video.